Hello. In today's video, I wanted to cover how to perform smooth orbits when using a Mavic 3 Enterprise. I covered that in a previous video where we went in depth on how to use pinpoints. However, the orbit part was buried in the middle of a much longer video, and it seems this is the only question that most people wanted to know the answer to. So I thought I'd put a quick video together covering orbit and only orbit just to make life easier. Let's get started. To make an orbit using a Mavic 3 Enterprise, you will need to use a thing called a pinpoint. So I'm going to quickly show you how to set that up and then how to initiate an orbit once you have one. We have two ways to set a pinpoint for an orbit. One is to fly the drone to the center of the orbit and mark it. And the other is to use the map view and set it on the controller. To set the one based on the drone's location is very easy. Fly to the center of where you want the orbit to be and then press the pinpoint button, which is the blue diamond in the top left. This is great for things like doing a tower inspection because you can literally look down and make sure that you are exactly centered over the object. To create a pinpoint using the map view, switch to the map view and then move the map around so that the center of the screen is where you want the center of the orbit to be. It's sometimes hard to see, but there's a little cross in the center and that's where the pinpoint will be created. Now just push the pinpoint button as before to create that pinpoint. One important feature is that you don't have to be flying the drone to do this. So if you have some orbits that you want to set up before you get on site, you can do that and just use them once you arrive. Now how to start an orbit around this pinpoint. With the drone in the air, select the pinpoint by touching it in the map view, or by pressing and holding the pin icon, select check all pins, and then touch in the one that you're interested in. When you've selected a pinpoint, a new icon will appear, which is a diamond with a little eye on it. Touch that when the drone is flying and the drone will face that pinpoint. Once it's selected, a new icon which is the point of interest icon will also appear. This is the circle with a dot and a little drone icon. If you select that, then POI mode will be started and the drone will face the point of interest as you fly around. Now doing an orbit is as simple as moving left or right using the sticks because the drone will keep facing the orbit and will keep the distance constant. That's it, you're making an orbit. But it's hard to keep an orbit at a constant speed. So we have one last trick. When you're flying at the speed you want, press the C1 button on the back of the controller. It's the one under your left finger. Then the drone will lock the speed of the orbit. You can now release the sticks and the drone will continue to fly around the object at that speed. You can change other things as you're flying, such as changing the direction the drone is facing, the altitude, the gimbal angle, etc. Unfortunately, only the left right stick movement is locked with the C1 button though. When you're done with the orbit, just hit the pause button on the controller to stop. That's it. As always, I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to leave any comments. I'll see you in the next video.